Hello everyone and welcome to today's Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Fallout 3 and uh, honestly I don't know how well this is going to go. I've already tried to record this several times, uh, but either I've died those times or the game has crashed on me. But that's the game seem to have... We seem to love them, but it's one of those love-hate relationships because it's just there are times where playing it is impossible. So hopefully uh, we won't have that, but uh, I've been playing Fallout 3 for a little bit. Um, just because I wanted to sort of get a feel for the game, if it makes any sense, for Fallout 4. Because uh, I figure, why not? It's a Steam sale. Give it a shot. Uh, by the way, if you are going to play it on Steam... There's a bad guy there. If you are going to play on Steam, there are some things you're going to have to do to it. Uh, particularly if you have multiple screens, you're going to have to disable it so you only have the one. Uh, and there are a couple other things. You can Google it all, but it's actually kind of an annoying game to start off with. Uh, playing. So, select the pistol, tap back. I'm also just sort of getting a hang for the controls. So, you apologize for those Fallout 3 veterans. This is going to be pretty painful for some of you. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I'm not even sure how to go out fighting some people like this because uh, the, the combat here I haven't quite got used to other than the, the auto aim thing. There are like four bandits here. Jesus Christ. See, if I just shoot one of them, they're all going to murk me. Uh, they have the laser beams over there. I don't know, man. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away. Oh. oh, right to the head. Oh, and he's not down yet. Wow. All right, cool. Logic. Let's get a little bit closer to him and then do the V thing again. This is a pretty cool feature, I will admit. Oh, no, no, no. Do the feature. And hit him. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Mine. You're all mine. Take all your shit. Take all your shit. No, take all. What's the. Hey, there you go. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, so just getting a hang for the game right now. Uh,. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about the E3 stream, which I thought was pretty damn impressive. I mean, one of the better E3s we've had in recent years, other than the unveiling of the consoles, which was obviously a good year. But uh, there's just so much to talk about, no matter whether you're a fan of Microsoft, Nintendo, Xbox... Oh, sorry. I said uh, Microsoft, right? So, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo. If you're a fan of all of them, it's uh, just a good time to be a gamer. Um, we'll start with the, uh, the Microsoft side of things. Uh, I watched... Uh, the highlights, basically, uh, because there weren't many Microsoft titles I was really looking forward to. I mean, Halo 5 is a given, kind of the reason why I picked up my uh, Xbox. But other than that, there aren't many games I kind of psyched about. I haven't played any of the Gears of War uh, franchise, which I know you guys are going to hate me for, but it's on my list. It really is. So I wasn't really too excited about the Gears of, uh, Gears of War 4, I think it was, uh, unveil. But uh, I, get why, I get why some people would be, so I'm not going to hate on you guys for that. Uh, sorry, gonna do the crawling thing because I know there are tons of people in here. This is where I keep dying. So, oh god, caution, why caution, why caution? Oh, that's why caution. Oh, stop making the noise, stop making the noise. Hide, 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 hide. Oh boy. Just get ready, just get ready. Hidden, nice. Uh, yeah, wasn't too psyched about the Gears of War thing, but, uh, other than that, I, th I think it, the real steal of the show, that one particularly, was, without a doubt, the Microsoft HoloLens demonstration. And, I mean, if you haven't seen that, you should absolutely stop this video and go check that out. That was a thing of beauty. Uh, I mean, we've seen hologram stu uh, tech before with, like, Miku cons. Oh, boy! Oh, at least I got him right now with this... Let's try it. Jesus Christ, he just needs to go down. Go down, go down, go down, go down. That was very stealthy. I like to think. Very stealthy indeed. Level up. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh, cool. Alright. Uh, I get to sign 15 points to beat things. What am I lacking here? 
Might want to pause this for a little bit before I make my decision. All right, and we're back, and we're ready to play. Uh, some of you may notice that my health is slightly, might be a little bit off from where I was just a minute ago. Uh, this game has crashed maybe five or six times on me, so I honestly don't know how long I have before it crashes again. So let's get on to the real discussion. Uh, the HoloLens, fantastic demonstration of Minecraft and the achievements of virtual reality, but I think we all really want to talk about Sony's demonstration. Uh, oh god. Sony's demonstration just blew my mind. I caught, I, I came in in the middle of The Last Guardian and still not even quite sure what The Last Guardian is, but I, I want to play it. I really want to know what that animal was that thing, thing was falling around with. Oh god, oh god. Hey, wait. No, 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 no. You're, you're gonna ruin it, man. You're gonna ruin it. You're gonna ruin it. <sighs> that was amazing. Oh, who are you? Who are you and why? Who are you and why? Hit him in the head. Critical strike! Critical strike should kill him! Not allow him to shoot me more in the head. And there it is again. See what I mean? This kind of shit that I can't deal with. Alright, and here we are yet again. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, where were we? The last fucking guardian. Ugh. That was a beautiful video. That was a beautiful, beautiful trailer. Uh, caution from what? Oh god. Come on, get off of there. Thank you. So immature. Um, that was amazing. I loved how Square Enix did that fake out first. They, they said they, they said it was going to be a Final Fantasy game, then they showed this Final Fantasy world spit. And I know for a fact that there were tons of YouTubers who were... Who claimed that they thought that Final Fantasy HD Remake was going to be coming out. So I knew that they were just all going to be shitting in their pants at the moment. And then Final Fantasy World comes up and it's like, this, this isn't, this isn't Final Fantasy 7. But, uh, yeah, and then Final Fantasy 7, the trailer comes out and it's just like, oh, wow. We're not expecting any of that, were you? So, it's just going to give me, it just gives me an excuse to cosplay as Cloud and to build his Buster Sword, which I've always... Oh, no! No! I was doing so well there, too. He came up by me with a bat. No. Wow, all right. Is that the first ca actually captured kill that we'll show? Okay, cool. Back we go. Yeah, so, I love the little fake out that they pulled there. Um, one game that I'm just genuinely surprised that I have not heard a lot of people talk about. You know, everyone's talking about Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Nathan Drake, which had a fantastic video. Fantastic showing at uh, at the Sony uh, video. Just mind-blowing, as Naughty Dog usually is. But uh, one video that no one's talked about is No Man's Sky. And I may actually cut to a video here because we love to talk about uh, we love th these open world games. We hail games like GTA and uh, Skyrim as having these amazing open world games. And then No Man's Sky comes along and it just like takes those kind of expectations and defies what you can achieve in a something like that. It's insane the amount of just what you can. I, I highly doubt that anyone. If you played from now until the day that you die, I don't even know if you'd be able to explore all those, every part of that game, because it just looks massive. I just hope that we get more information on that, like an announcement date. No, not again. Come on. Oh my god, I can't deal with this. Ugh, the number of times I have to go through this shit just to make this video. But I'm determined. I'm determined to keep up with my schedule. Uh, but yeah, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is, for me, was the thing that I am now most looking forward to in the new gaming season. That, and of course, uh, the new Conker's Bad Fur Day game. Uh, not Conker's? Did I just say Conker's? No, that'd be fucking amazing. No. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> not to be confused with an 18 plus uh, squirrel rodent. But uh, the new Ratchet and Clank game in Koa. Uh, in association with the movie that they're releasing around the same time. So it's going to be the game based on the movie, based on the game. Oh, God. It, it, just like my PlayStation 3, that will be the game that I buy a PlayStation 4 for, I think. Not Nathan Drake, but that. So with that in mind, I think I got most of my thoughts out. Even if I didn't, this game is just testing my patience in what we can and cannot do. So 
really hoping this is just like a PC experience because I did read that PC is very, very glitchy sometimes. So, oh, see, oh fuck it. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys, and we're gonna cut to a video of No Man's Sky so you get just an appreciation of how big this game is. Thanks for watching, and I'm not gonna lie, slightly bitter now. You could see the other stars nearby that I can reach with my current hyperdrive. And I'm gonna pull back a little bit more to give you a sense of the size of the game. But when I do, I really need you to keep in mind to understand that every one of these points of light is a sun. And every one of those suns has its own solar system with planet-sized planets orbiting around it. Those have life, ecology, And I could even go a little faster. Now, most of these places have never been visited. Many of them never will be.